Yo, I'm gonna quickly show you guys my end game settings to have the best Cronus Zen aim assist and best anti recoil. Now, I'm gonna quickly just talk about some stuff. You guys can just look, pause the video, and copy my end game settings. My dead zone input is at five, okay? I didn't show it here, but my dead zone is five. Stick sensitivity, I like going five, five to 10, 10, okay? I'm trying out 10, 10 right now, and it's really good. I also wanna say, guys, we have the best updated scripts, aim assist settings, and how to stay undetected. Okay, I have some tips in my VIP community on how to stay undetected and everything is 50% off. Okay, so click that link down below in the description. Get your spot. We had over 150 members the last couple of days. So just want to thank everybody who's joined up. And you guys can check my in-game settings right here. Everything is standard, man. It, there's nothing too crazy. Now, the FOV is definitely going to be very important. And you guys will see that very shortly. But standard curve type, standard aim assist. You know what I'm saying? Nothing crazy. You don't want to have crazy in-game settings because you want your Cronus Zen to carry you and have the bulk of the uh, performance of the aim assist versus your in-game settings giving you the extra aim assist boost, okay? Now, I'm gonna show you guys my uh, graphics right now after I show you the audio. Audio is also very important because it helps with gameplay. And that's why we, that's, we wanna get better at Call of Duty, you know what I'm saying? Um, graphics, you guys can see right here, I'm gonna click it. My FOV is at 110 affected, okay? It's very, very important, let's copy that. And this is a very short video for your in-game settings. Use them and let me know how they feel. And I'll see you in the next video.